are you and what do you do? I'm uh, Jason Lee Holden, writer and director of Darth Gossam, heavy metal horror movie uh, from New Zealand. <laughs> um, talk about your style first. My style? Um, so today, today, you know, heavy metal, uh, they call them battle vests. Right. So this is, um, you know, which is really cool. It's like I started making this when I started making the movie, like um, sewing patches on from different bands, like Iron Maiden and... It's great, it makes me feel metal. It's, it's so handy actually in a climate like this because you've got like the big pockets but you've also got the arms free. <laughs> um, within the movie, I know it's really, we're just talking about the style here. Like the influence, the visuals, what the guys are wearing. It's very um, satanical, very gothic. Yeah. Kind of like. Well, I mean, a lot of the, because um, I, was, I was very um, involved in, in the costumes for the movie, so I, um, you know, it's all based on my teenage years, you know, like. It was always long hair, like, you know, tight black jeans, uh, heavy metal t-shirt, Doc Martin boots, you know, and um, it's actually interesting because I, I see that style kind of resurging, like, especially, um, you know, you always see girls with leather jackets or, like, denim, denim's back now, um, everyone's wearing Doc Martens, you know, so it's like, um, I've actually, you know, walking around, like, because uh, I've been, been all around the world, you know, I'm seeing a lot of, like, influence from heavy metal and um, popular fashion, it's crazy, and, um, you know, Kanye West wearing heavy metal t-shirts. Well, men buy into films. Whatever you're putting out there, they, guys buy into what you, you're wearing, right? Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. How could that influence the view counts on your movie? Like, uh, Hopefully, I mean, uh, ho hopefully people get into it and like, I'm, you know, hoping hoping um, it's like a bit of a draw card for people that don't understand heavy metal to like see it and maybe listen to some metal and then maybe, you know, go out there and you know, get some heavy metal t-shirts and, um, and, and yeah, that, that would be amazing. It's kind of a bit of a gateway drug maybe. <laughs> Can you give us three reasons why they should come and see your movie? What's, what's the ultimate message? Um, it's um, hilarious. It's um, metal as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's, it's just a fun movie to, to sort of like, you know, watch with, with mates or watch in a cinema and, and just have a good time, you know. <laughs> Ray-Bans, your thing? Oh, yeah, I love Ray-Bans. I've got to have my Wayfarers, you know. I'm not, I'm not sure how metal they are, but I've, um, I've had Wayfarers for years. I, I, I can't wear any other sunglasses. Um, I actually wouldn't mind getting some, um, some uh, what do they call them, like the, uh, you know, the, uh, the Ray-Ban the Ray aviators. aviators, yeah. Okay. What's been the most challenging part of this journey? Um, I think the most challenging part I don't know, keeping my sanity <laughs> because I'm, um, you know, um, you know, I work with my wife who is the producer of the film, so like um, we work on the film and then we're like got a marriage going and then we're traveling the world, so it's um, you know, it, it's it's hard. There is some stress there, but you know, it's also very rewarding and very fun and we've had a great time. Um, we actually spent uh, my wife's birthday in Paris, the Eiffel Tower, drinking champagne and. Um, yeah, it's it's um, been a great experience. You know, it's my first time in Europe, and wow. I've been to Germany, UK, Brazil, America, like France, everywhere this year. <laughs> your favourite film producer and your favourite film? Favourite film producer? Um, Inspiration. Yeah, um, I'd say Peter Jackson. Like yeah. he's another Kiwi. He's um, he made horror movies like me, and then he went on to make big movies. I'd love to make big movies as well. Um, he's keeps a lot of people in New Zealand employed with some um, <laughs> Weta company and yeah and our favorite film was it yeah. I don't know it's it's always a hard one um, it, it changes from day to day oh. today I will say um, Suspiria by Dario Argento like it's um, a very beautiful movie a lot of color a lot of like uh, great costumes great art direction it's um, Every frame of that movie you could like um, put on a wall, like frame. It's it's a beautiful movie and, and great great music as well. <laughs> One last question: um, What's the obsession with horror movies? Because I'm not a big fan of it. It's um, horrors. Something that you know a lot of people don't understand. Like my wife isn't a big horror fan either. Neither is my sister. But I think um, what it is, it's um, about us experiencing something extreme and experiencing fear in a controlled environment. Uh -huh. And um, you know, we go and we go and be scared or be grossed out, and then we go and have a laugh or be terrified, and then we we can get on with our lives. You know, I think there's something sort of human about that. And um, it used to be kind of a real sort of male thing, but I'm actually, you know, at these festivals seeing a lot of like hardcore female horror fans and hopefully oh. we see a lot of um, 
a lot more female directors as well. Um. <laughs> well you're, you're looking at one. Listen, thank you so much Excellent. for your spontaneous time.